What'd you just say? We gotta get this together! So... The adrenaline rush! So I had completely forgotten, not that there was another Mountain Creek meeting, but that it was the 20th, which is today. So around, when did I text you? Probably around 2, what'd you say? Late afternoon. So, so texted her that they, that the last installment, hopefully the last installment, I'm pretty sure they vote today. Uh, Continue for 2 miles. So, uh, sorry about the GPS is today so we're gonna go see the results of it she had a meeting run late and now, now I, think, we're late. I think we both got our steak and shake down in about six <laughs> minutes which is probably a record six. it was it was very it was short like four minutes. it was very short yep. but now we are in route to the Catawba County Justice Center and um, I'm gonna keep this vi this video is gonna be more entertaining than the last one so I've got I've got a little bit better vision for it, so I'll inform you all of the proceedings. And as for my racing, I know I haven't published a schedule anywhere or anything. I think the first thing that I'm going to participate in is probably the East Lincoln Speedway test that's going to take place March 9th. East Lincoln is actually it's in Denver, which is my I guess you would call it my hometown. It's where I grew up, but it wasn't really where I was born. But um, he has a whole thing about his hometown. Doesn't doesn't list a hometown on my race pass. I, I don't know. Gotta stay mysterious. But know. it was actually the first place I ever saw my Chris Prince when I was twelve. So kind of cool to get to race there uh, this year. Hopefully, assuming everything pans out. But they posted a schedule, and that's going to be a new track in the region for us, or a uh, reopening track, I guess you'd say. It never closed, but it, micros were discontinued on the schedule, and now they're back. So. Exciting to be a part of that this year for nine races. And here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I have that? We therefore uh, reverse and hold the plan director, the planning director decision of October 6, 2023 in this matter. So we have a motion, do we have a second? Okay, that's it. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. I know it's a lot of hard work for everyone and we appreciate it. Is there any other, no other matters of business? Do we have an upcoming meeting on the calendar, do you know? Oh, there he is. All right, folks. So it is the next day, and we have reconvened at uh, Grace's apartment. We got some top secret speed sports stuff there on the monitors. Um, go ahead and get your insider trading for the day locked in. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so last night, the question that needed to be answered was whether or not the racetrack had been sitting dormant for more than 180 days. Chris Timberlake had made the call originally for the county that it had been based on some aerial photographs that showed where the foliage had grown up around the racetrack and was using that as the sole evidence for it, um, for his decision. So the reason that's significant is because the racetrack sits it, where it's zoned R40, which is residential, and the track has a grandfather status because it, um, it had been there prior to the zoning ruling. Because it's been there since like the 1970s and the zoning ruling or the zoning thing came into play like 2007, I believe is what they said. So the so ultimately that was what we had to prove. And there's still a neighbor that um, is raising all of these issues that wants to see the racetrack closed. So I'm not hopeful... I'm not optimistic that he's just going to give up that easily because he was talking about how 30 acres of his 900 acre estate were deemed wasteland um, due to the racetrack's existence there. So he's probably going to keep fighting this. But for the time being, the ruling was overturned and Mountain Creek Speedway is allowed to race for the 2024 season. And we're very excited for that. I'm going to try to be at all of the races they haven't announced a schedule yet because they have to go and see what um, what race dates are already taken by other tracks. They're very Adam Stewart and his crew are very good about uh, working with all the other racetracks in the region just to help the sport growth and not stepping on any 
toes there, but um, I think that pretty much covers most of it. Grace, did you have any other thoughts on what you witnessed last night? Um, I enjoy listening to the discussion amongst the board members as to why the photos were not sufficient evidence, you know, like them just kind of like the points, you know, you were just talking about of like, you know, looking at photos that were taken 10 years ago and saying, interpreting it through your own opinion of like, well, this probably wasn't used, but you know, you can't 100% with confidence say, yes, the racetrack was not in use. There was not a member of the county that went out and verified it. So to make a decision based solely on those photographs, which like one of the board members pointed out, looked like they were taken at different points in the year, you know, wasn't consistent. I, I would agree that that would not have been, you know, sufficient concrete evidence of yes, this wasn't being used. And I found it interesting that there was no definition of racetrack in the code or whatever was being you know, used. So there's no definition of you have to run, you know, micro sprints here, or you have to run a motorized vehicle. It could be anything like it can be, they basically use the dictionary Miriam, Miriam Webster's definition of a racetrack. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, uh, basically it's just a oval, like a, a dirt oval. What is it? I, I should look it up again. Anyway, there was no definition. They used the dictionary definition and nowhere in there was it like this X constitutes as use of a racetrack. So I thought there was good points made by the board members and I, I agreed with the conclusion that they came up with. So Absolutely. There just wasn't enough evidence to support what they were trying to argue. And certainly not when you're talking about a local business in the area, you know, somebody that um, doesn't quite hold as much power as, say, the guy that's going up against us who owns the giant construction company and all that. So, you know, you, it's I'm glad they chose not to squish the little guy and to let us have um, let us have our fun. Right. You know, we're, we're living in an era where racetracks are constantly being shut down there's not a whole lot of things for people to do most of entertainment is being moved to online so i think it's very important that we have places where people interact face to face and witness entertainment in person so i'm looking forward to being a part of that this year i'm looking forward to hopefully they come out with a pretty big schedule an ambitious schedule because they had great car counts at all the races last year and uh, looking forward to seeing what the future holds for Mountain Creek Speedway. But um, I'll see y'all in the coming weeks. We're going to be testing at East Lincoln Speedway, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And I will have footage from that test right here. Thank you all for watching.